Hello, I'm the Nostalgia Critic. I remember it so you don't have to. Okay, I am excited. I am so very excited. Today, we get to review the Alvin and the Chipmunks movie. Oh my god, I love this film. With his hair-raising adventures, singing new songs along with old ones, and traveling the world while escaping danger around every turn. It's strange, because I swear I reviewed this film before in a crossover. But that doesn't matter. We are looking at it today in all its glory, and I am psyched! My friends and I haven't seen this movie in years! Uh, wait, why aren't you wearing green? I'm colorblind. Oh well, who cares? Let's get ready for this awesome chipmunk adventure! Well, I guess I'll just call you two if I need a musical number. Okay. Seems fair. Sure. Okay. Bye. Um... Here's the review. The film opens with the chipmunks in a tree singing the song You Had a Bad Day. A perfect tune to foreshadow the next hour and a half. They don't waste time developing characters and instead cut down their house and take it to a building in L.A. There, a songwriter named Dave, played by Jason I'm Still Gonna Say Mallrats Was My Biggest Letdown Lee, is late for an audition. He meets up with his neighbor and partakes in at least one of the top five words exposition scenes ever. Let me guess, you're late for something again. Same old Dave. Not following you. The guy's always fooling around. You can't handle a serious relationship. <sighs> you know, why don't you just turn to the camera and say, Hi audience, I'm Dave! If you look under your seat, you'll see a trading card with my stats on it! I know it's an awkward way to introduce you to who I am, but trust me, it's much less awkward than if we tried working it into the story. We're not really good at that talking like humans thing. But they sure are good at ruining David Cross's career, though. Hey, back off, man. This is Dave Seville. I'm still on every year's worst movie list! Actually, to his credit, David Cross is one of the few genuinely funny things in this movie. He plays a music producer who clearly doesn't give a shit that he's in a Chipmunks movie. So he gives this delightfully passive-aggressive performance. Uh, uh, Love you. I'm back. You know what, Dave? 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 Dave is not here! I had a nightmare. Oh. If they could make a doll out of this guy, I would totally buy it! We're the Chipmunks for crying out loud! He sadly, though, is not a fan of Dave's songwriting. The original inspiration came to me- Song sucks, Dave. What? Your song? It's awful. I hate it. Have you tried speeding it up so it sounds like high-pitched ear penetration? I mean, I need something new. I need something fresh. That, that, I need that is the next new. big thing. I need Christmas and hula hoops! But Dave shows them by stealing their muffins- Hey! Yes, that scene definitely needed thrilling muffin-stealing music. Why don't you just play a Latin choir when the chipmunks sneak into it? I want it! I can't sing like this all day! Jump over the Look out! Raspberry! He then proceeds to throw out the muffins. What the fuck's wrong with you? Those look delicious! And decides to throw out all his music equipment, too. <laughs> Take that, free money! eBay will have none of you. But don't worry, he can make all that cash back through these product placements. This is the greatest day of my life! We can get a lot of cute B-roll footage with these! <laughs> Dave tries to see what's going on, but apparently Alvin's fucking blood hungry! <laughs> Bet you didn't know this was the R-rated version. Oh God, stay away from the nuts! As much as we wish that would happen, it doesn't. But he does fart in his face! Uh, it's funny, because it came from his butt! They finally knock him out and try to figure what to do with him. I'll need three garbage bags, a shovel, some disinfectant, some latex gloves, and oregano. I don't like how quickly he came up with that! Theodore, I can't go back to prison. Why did you have to kill that prostitute before Alvin? She wasn't a prostitute, she was an escort. Big difference! But Dave gets up and they introduce themselves. I'm Simon, the, the smart one. He's Alvin, the awesomest one. And I'm Theodore. Oh, nice to meet you. I guess Theodore doesn't have any personality traits. He fell out of the tree at birth. Outside of butt for verbal abuse. We talk. It's creepy, unnatural, somewhat evil. Hey, it's the critical praises for the front of the box. So Dave, being the remarkably unlikable character that he is, throws the cute little chipmunks out into the rain! Now where's that puppy I wanted to hit with the handle of my gun? 
but his heart softens when he realizes he can make a quick buck off of them. Wait, you guys can sing too? This is amazing. The talking didn't mean shit, but now that you can sing, you're of worth. Here's the deal. You guys sing my songs, you get to sleep here. Usually in the music industry, it's the other way around. You sleep here, you get to sing my songs. I don't want to come home and find a bunch of rabbits and skunks on my couch. Filthy creatures, Dave. Never associate with them. Wow, animal racist much? We need to build a wall, Dave. Oh, by the way, with them being kids, you ever wonder where their parents are? Our parents were hippies. They left early to join a commune. Explained. So while trying to think of a song to be their outlet, the chipmunks start humming in their sleep. Want a plane that loops the loop? Yeah, pretty sad when animal snoring can write a better melody than you can. Listen, I think I hear my dog vomiting! <coughs> Opera! This inspires him to write a song, but not before realizing Simon's vision might be a little off. Try these. Wow, thank God the makers of Plastic Santas thought their toy was nearsighted, so gave them all Simon's prescription. That was a magical kind of dumb. We're gonna have food all winter, so if you start storing it, it's gonna get gross, and we're gonna have rodent. That's our word, dick slice. Non-talking. Rodents. So they try singing the famous Christmas song, and we get to hear Day's famous scream of Alvin. This kid's a hamster wheel's butt! Alvin! Whoa! Well, that was superbly half-assed. It's one of the most famous trademarks of the chipmunks, and there's just no effort to it. In fact, every time he says it, he sounds less and less angry and more like the kid from Troll 2. Alvin! Oh my god! And again, what do you expect when his voice is beyond hoarse in this movie? Oh, you're sorry? That's fantastic! If you flood my house, you're dead. Go away! Leave me alone! He sounds like Bob Dylan if he's been gargling cactus covered in sandpaper. My house is always a mess! Tomorrow I'm gonna call the exterminator! Don't go! I, I can explain! Maybe his voice got tired from going home after every shoot and screaming into his pillow. Oh, I can't believe I'm in this shit! I can't believe I'm in this shit! What? Um, Mr. Cross, you're in a movie. Action! Ugh. Get this, it's Dave really tries to show off the singing vermin, but apparently they get stage fright. Because if there's any characteristic I associate with Alvin, it's stage fright. But it's okay, because they get him fired from his job at an advertising firm. Well, not because they drew Theodore's butt on his charts, but because they spelled half the S's backwards and the other half forward. Wouldn't you choose one or the other? You wouldn't go back and forth. I think I'll just clean out my office. Sounds good. I'm sure glad we paid the extra money for Jane Lynch in that role. Things seem even worse at home. Theodore, did you just... It's a raisin, Dave. Prove it. Mm -hmm. Where's Alvin? Yeah! Alvin? You owe me big time. Chipmunks eating shit! That's what I wanted to see! Isn't it what you wanted to see? I paid good money to see Alvin and the Chipmunks eating shit! You know, what's going on in the other film right now? Oh, look at that! The chip bats are battling sharks in Bermuda and the Chipmunks are almost eaten alive by crocodiles! What do we got in this movie? Chipmunks eating shit! Yes! Yes, yes, yes! You know, maybe marketing wanted to train kids into eating crap before actually selling it to them! The funny thing is, in the trailer, it's shown as Alvin who eats the turd instead of Simon. That means Alvin must have been so pissed off at this scene that he refused to have it in the movie. Fuck you guys! No, fuck you guys all to hell! You want me, the star of the movie, to eat shit for you? What the fuck is wrong with you? You can take this two girls one cup full crap and shove it up your ass! You hear me? Up your ass! Where it belongs, not in my mouth! No, no! You already tricked me into doing it for the trailer, you sick bastards! But I thought that really was a raisin! You lied to me! You lied to me! You can ask my dick if I care, because I don't! Kiss my ass in hell, you pathetic twat! Okay, Simon, you're up. I don't know if I'm comfortable with this. Ah! You don't get paid as much as Alvin. You want to see what I can really do to you? Proudly eating shit for you, sir. But Dave's neighbor calls about her date. Hi, Dave. It's Claire Wilson calling, and... Oh, why did I just say my last name? That was weird. Um, I guess I'm just a little nervous about coming over for dinner. I'll be there at 7. Uh, okay. Bye. Wow. 
Even for literally a phoned in line? That was really a phoned in line. The only thing sounding less interested than her on the phone is her in real life. Please, I'm begging you. No games, no fooling around. No acting either. I want to stay out of the squeakles as much as possible. My life is being sabotaged by talking chipmunks. Uh, Mr. Lee, that's not in the script. I know, I'm just making a declaration. Feeling bad, the chipmunks convinced the producer that he dropped acid as that's the only way he would agree to sign them to a record recording deal as opposed to donate them to science. That video of your little guys? 10 million hits already on YouTube. It's blowing up bigger than that gem twat. So the chipmunks start recording albums and make Dave all sorts of money. It's a shame money can't buy love though. At least not a butthole like Dave's love. Make sure we understand each other here. I'm not your dad or anything. You're like a dad. Well, not really. I'm more of a piss on a child's heart kind of person. The kind that the plot says should be your father, but anyone with a brain is like, he's an insensitive asshole. They go and perform Witch Doctor in front of a clearly paid to look interested crowd. Yeah, I can fake having fun to this. As the film continues to show that it doesn't need a witch doctor as much as a script doctor. I'm covering your rise to fame. I'm sorry about that night. I, I really thought that you- That I was insane? I didn't know you were gonna be famous. I totally would have put up with all the non-commitment stuff I talked about earlier if I knew that. And it looks like Dave is still okay with being a douche. You're like a family. He doesn't want a family. You know, why don't you guys go and play or raid the dessert table or something? I'm still not convinced you're not a leftover high from My Name is Earl. I can't love what I don't know is really there. But Cross is excited to get the merchandise going. It's Alvin. That looks nothing like Alvin. Well then, it's a perfect toy to represent the movie. We got to expand the Monk's fan base. Forget about the music. The music is but a means to the big money. Okay, if we could put away a nickel every time a movie says being an advertising sellout is bad while being an advertising sellout, we could feed all the people of the world. Twice. So Cross looks them in the eye and tells them that they'd all be better off with him. At least he tries looking them in the eye. He's over there, Cross. He's over there. Look down. Look down, Cross. No, to your left. To your left. Was there a shortage of sticks with tennis balls on them? Dave's holding you back, you know? I could be making you 20 large a day. You guys will be so big that one day we'll go up against Star Wars! Yeah, and beat them, really, yeah, yeah. So Cross gets them everything they always wanted, including an attractive housemaid. He's also a masseuse. Okay, first of all, kid. Second of all, chipmunk. Third of all, I don't want to think of a kid chipmunk getting a happy ending. I know it's technically just combining the first two, but that is such a big one, I thought it deserved repeating! Causing Dave to act even more like duck shit. Well, Uncle Ian says we're like his family. Well, if you love Uncle Ian so much and you don't think I'm watching out for you, why don't you go live with Uncle Ian? So they go live with Uncle Ian. I told you, Dave. I never lose. Wait till you see the ways I tried to sabotage Chipwrecked. Cue that tedious B-roll footage. In the other film, they'd be singing in the ruins of Rome. Not stealing whatever tune is popular at the time, but instead singing a new rockin' song. Dave realizes he misses the plot and should probably admit that he was a horse's taint the whole time. Which is good, because Cross was almost gonna send the chipmunks on an extra long tour of Europe. Oh no, that'd be awful! I dare even say, entertaining! But on top of that, it looks like their voices are giving out from being worked too hard. You three sound like you've been gargling nails. Hey, don't talk about Jason Lee that way. So he recommends that they pull a Milli Vanilli. Lip sync! Isn't that like cheating? No, it's not like cheating. This is more like helping. It's like buying the rights to a song, speeding it up, and then selling it to you again. Totally not cheating! But Dave tries to sneak in and call to them. Alvin! 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 I heard that faint yell not really louder than the last faint yell. Alex, what are you doing? Whoa! Wardrobe malfunction! Cover those with some Janet Jackson nipples, would you? Show some shame! Come on, guys! So the chipmunks decide to sabotage the concert. Come 
Come on, let's put all these singers and dancers out of a job. That'll show the guy who already has a ton of money. Unemployment line is that way, poor musicians. Get them! But apparently kidnapping the talent is legal now as Cross throws him in a cage and plans to still send them on their tour. I'm sure this camera tilt down to the dolls means nothing. They just ruined the concert. No one will come to see them. They, they're chipmunks who talk. People will come. Isn't that what the producers say every time they pitch a sequel? So they get to their vehicles and partake in a thrilling climax. Step on it, Dave! Or they want to just end this as quickly as we do. Of course I came back. We're a family. Uh, am I going crazy or did he just say family? I know. You guilt trip me into saying it. Just like a real functioning unit. I really missed you guys. I missed you too, Dave. So did Alvin. He's just too cool to admit it. Yeah, too macho. Yeah, because that was the personality trait I clearly got from him. Macho. In fact, I just realized, for a movie called Alvin and the Chipmunks, Alvin has little to no personality. Which is strange, because he was always the biggest personality out of all of them. He was egotistical, a schemer, delusional that he was the best, even though he still had a good heart. This one was apparently... Macho! As... Macho as this piece of paper is, which I've suddenly decided to call macho, so that automatically makes it macho. You stay out of this macho piece of paper, you're too macho! That's so something he would say. So they drive home in Dave's poor car, reflective of his humble income, to his gigantic IKEA house worthy of any home furnishing magazine, where Alvin again screws up. Ah! Oh! <laughs> Oops. Not gonna say it. Please do, the credits are right around the corner. Are you still not gonna say it? Nope. You are holding us hostage until you do. Please say the thing, you're not even really that good at saying. <laughs> I'm gonna say it. Elvis! I'm gone before you could even finish it! So yeah, this movie's pretty bad. Is it the worst? No, the chipmunks are pretty cute and you get a laugh sometimes. But they just needed to be in a better script. This is every dumb rock star story for kids that they for some reason think kids never catch on to. And judging by how many sequels they've made, maybe they're right. But kids deserve better stories and characters and time devoted to giving them something creative and exciting. This is just a bland mesh compared to what we could have gotten. And I'm sorry, the original Chipmunks movie is so much better. It's exciting, weird, funny, visually interesting, has original songs in it, and has fun traveling the world and giving kids an adventure. This is just Jim with three hairy testicles. 